We've all done it. We continue to do it. We make plans for doing countless things. Even though we may not realize it, we all plan. Hello everyone, I'm Ronnie Ferris, an elder here at the Church of Christ in Green Hills. We're happy that you joined us today. We know people who plan every detail of their lives, leaving no room for possible failure or even consider the what if scenario. These folks have only one plan, that's it. And perhaps when that plan doesn't go the way they had hoped, their world comes crashing down around them, disintegrating right before their very eyes. I want to tell you about some friends whose initial plan was changed and it worked. You may recall early in Jesus' ministry, his popularity increased because of the way he taught, plus the healing and miracles he performed. People were coming to him from a variety of places. It would seem that these friends really believed that if they could get their friend to Jesus, he would be healed as well. We have to admire their confidence. These friends were tenaciously prepared to do whatever it took to get their friend to the one they knew who could heal him. They knew their goal and they were driven. They even took risks. And they knew that if their initial plan failed, they were alternately prepared as well. They were organized and focused. They had the right people to carry out the task. These men had the strength and stamina for completing the mission at hand. They had committed the mental resources to this project as well. The mode and method of transportation were defined. Can you imagine them not making their friend as comfortable and safe as possible while attempting this mission? I can't. These friends had the right tools for success. They must have been equipped for removing the roof of the house in order to get their friend into Jesus' presence. I believe they left nothing to chance. Can you imagine, though, the disappointment when their initial plan vanished before their eyes? However, it seems they didn't miss a beat. They adjusted on the fly for a successful ending. This reminds me of these verses from Proverbs. First, from chapter 16, verse 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. And then a few verses later, verse 9. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. I believe these dedicated friends knew the value of proper planning, and we should too. Anything we plan, let's commit those plans to the Lord so our feet are established by Him. In life, we may have several plans which we believe will work for us, but God has only one plan for our eternal salvation. So, how may we help you discover that eternal plan? We're here and we can help you in that discovery. Please feel free to contact us at elders at cocgh.org. This week, let's be sure to commit our plans to the Lord so we can be a part of His eternal plan for us. Until next time, have a wonderful week.